The latest data show another rise in COVID. Figures from the Office for National Statistics show just under 2.3 million people were estimated to have the disease in the week to June the 24th. That's a rise of just over half a million, or 32%, suggesting the surge is picking up speed. The previous week, the increase was just 23%. But looking back on the year so far, and the numbers are still below the peaks of January and April. The rise is being driven by the BA4 and BA5 versions of Omicron, which are taking over from BA2, the one that caused the April peak. They're even more infectious, though for the most part they're causing relatively mild symptoms. So what's happening in hospitals then? Well, admissions are rising, though much of that is likely to be because people are coming in for treatment of other medical conditions and testing positive at the door. In other words, the stats reflect increasing rates of COVID in the community. But this is the worry. The number of older patients being admitted to intensive care is rising. The admission rate bounces around a lot, sharply up in those between 75 and 84 here in red, but down in the over 85s in brown. But there is a general upward trend. Why now? Well, only 76% of people over 75 have so far come forward for the second booster dose offered in the spring. So almost a quarter of the most vulnerable people are likely to be at risk from waning immunity just as COVID rates are taking off again. Countries like France, Germany and Italy are also seeing a surge in cases but the experience of Portugal offers some hope. Their cases peaked in June, well below the January wave of Omicron, and they're now coming down. But the Omicron family of variants seems to be hanging around, and vaccine companies are urging health authorities to make a speedy decision on whether to update the jab in time for the autumn booster campaign.